to the Fox Nightly News. I am Phil of Crack, and this is Anita Pounding. Hello everyone. Headlining tonight's news, the director of the world's largest illegal narcotics importing, exporting and distribution agency, otherwise known as the CIA, has been exposed for having sex with a pencil sharpener in his office at the Pentagon. The pencil sharpener was clearly the property of the US government. Charges have been filed with the Washington District Attorney, and an official arrest is expected to be made later this week. We will have more on this as the story unfolds. Hillary Clinton was released from a Washington private hospital this morning, after having both of her testicles removed. A spokesperson for Mrs. Clinton said, that the Secretary of State was donating her testicles to a very needy cause, and the operation had been a complete success. Hillary is now resting but she's expected to make a full recovery by the end of the week. President Obama, the soon-to-be recipient of Hill's testicles, was admitted into hospital, where he is awaiting the surgery, which is scheduled to take place later this evening. We will keep you up to date, on the progress of the President's surgery, as that information becomes available. So, stay tuned to us here at Fox for that. In other news, Vice President Joe Biden, has declared the need, for a new, and independent investigation, into the events surrounding the 9-11 terrorist attacks. After learning that steel and concrete, are in fact denser than air, and the 9-11 Commission, was merely a PR whitewash, as admitted by former board members, 9-11 was an inside job. That's what over 80% of the population believes, 84%, according to the most recent national and international polls. What about you Anita, do you know that 9-11 was an inside job? You know I shaved my vagina this morning, and now it feels all smooth and soft. So, I'm not wearing any panties today, because I didn't want it to get all irritated. I don't think that having shaving rash down there would be a very good thing, now would it? Anyway, what was the question again, Phil? 9-11 Anita, what do you believe about 9-11? Inside job for sure. So do you want to see it? Do I want to see what? My vagina, silly. I just told you I shaved it. I have been touching it all day, and now I'm ever so horny. Well, Anita, maybe you can show it to me during the commercials. Anyway, turning now to world news, Israel and Palestine have finally reached a peace agreement, which will hopefully put an end to the constant mass slaughter of Palestinians by the state of Israel, thanks to the help of the US Department of Immigration. In this new treaty, which was signed today by both Israeli and Hamas leaders, all the remaining Palestinians will be leaving Gaza and will migrate into a new settlement, in the tropical paradise formerly known as Guantanamo Bay. To aid this process and save a lot of paperwork, instead of becoming US citizens, the Palestinians will become indefinite detainees of the United States, under a new visa waiver bill, that was passed by Congress at 3 a.m. yesterday morning, as usual, no members of Congress had a chance to read the 200-page legislation, but they passed the bill anyway, due to overwhelming pressure, from the Congressional Jewish majority who described the bill, as a matter of national interest. Let's turn now to Anita Pounding, for our local news and some weather updates. Anita. Thank you Phil. In local news, the former Vice President, Dick Cheney, accidentally shot a store manager, two clerks, and a checkout operator, while picking up some items for hunting trip, at the local Walmart. Walmart officials stated that no charges will be brought against Dick Cheney, as they understand that it was just an unfortunate accident. However they have requested that the former vice president restrict any future Walmart hunting expeditions, to the parking lot only, and to please refrain from bringing his loaded hunting rifle inside the store. Cheney is expected to shoot the Walmart officials, later this week. And in other news, local congresswoman, Ivor Stinkenhole, has voted against the new tax bill that is designed to help law enforcement combat the major corruption by city and state officials. She said in a statement today, that the bill was yet another, unnecessary waste of taxpayers' money, and would amount to nothing more than a political witch hunt should it be passed. Moving now to the weather, we can expect a clear sunny day tomorrow, with a chance of showers. There may be some snowfall in the afternoon, and the slight chance of a thunderstorm and possible hail. So be sure to pack your snow chains, if you are planning a picnic, and an umbrella might not be a bad idea also. I will be at home, all snuggled up in my bed with my favorite vibrator, a warm cabbage, and some Twinkies. Let's go back to Phil now for sports. Thank you Amita. 
a warm cabbage and some Twinkies. Oh, okay then. Well we have some great news in sports today, with our local Circle Jerk team, taking out the state championship. But first we must go to a commercial break, so, more on that when we return. You're watching Phil of Crack, and Anita Pounding, on Fox Nightly News. Stay tuned. That sounded wet. I fart for the Apple iPhone and iPod Touch. Welcome back. You're watching Fox News with Anita Pounding and Phil of Crack. A toilet was stolen from the FBI headquarters sometime last night. FBI agents and the police are not sure what time the burglary might have taken place, but they think it was somewhere between midnight and 4.30 a.m. this morning. We are crossing now to a reporter on the scene. Lulu, can you hear us? Sure can, thank you Phil. This is Lulu Tady Pew, reporting live, from the crime scene here at the FBI headquarters, where a toilet was apparently stolen, in the early hours of the morning. Investigators were on the scene as early as 6 a.m., after getting a call from a very distressed FBI agent, whose name has not yet been released. A spokesperson for the bureau said, all they have left is a hole in the ground, and investigators are still looking into it, but so far the agents have nothing to go on. As you could imagine, tensions are high here, as the FBI has been back up with all kinds of crap for weeks, and now this. 15 agents have already gone home, complaining of sore stomachs and constipation. There is still no apparent motive, for this horrible crime. This is Lulu Tady Pew, reporting live for Fox News. Back to you at the studio, Phil. Thank you Lulu. My god, what an awful thing to happen. What kind of person would do such a thing? Well, I don't know Anita. It just goes to show that there are some seriously fucked up people in this world. There sure are. Anyway, on a more pleasant note, former President George W. Bush was hit by an inner city metro bus today. He was apparently trying to cross the street without using a designated crosswalk. Idiot. As yet, no one is commenting on the current status of the ex-president or his injuries, but that's okay, because nobody really cares anyway. And now to a more important issue. Should we have condom dispensing machines installed in public restrooms? Well, I think that would be a great idea. We should have done that years ago, and maybe we could have prevented some serious mishaps, like former President George W. Bush. I think it would be a positive move in promoting safe sex, especially in public restrooms. You know Harold O. likes to have day sex in public restrooms. Oh, come on now, that's a load of complete rubbish. Where did you hear that from, Phil? No, it's true. He even did a whole show about it. What a load of bollocks. Okay, roll the clip. We'll take you into the secret world of restroom gay sex. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've been into restroom gay sex. <laughs> and, uh, but let me go on to our plan of restroom gay sex in an airport bathroom. Lori Dude checked into the men's room to find out. So, Lori, the odds are of this restroom gay sex happening by chance. Pretty low. Extremely. Joining us now, Deputy Chief of the Bergen County, New Jersey Sheriff's Office, Brian Wright, who up until eight months ago engaged in sex things, pick up guys in public restrooms. And they're just revolving doors, these places. Absolute revolving doors. That's pretty disgusting in its own right, no? I want to bring in our resident psychologist, Dr. Vissoria Zadrak. Come on here. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, Mark Garagos. I think it's quieter in Los Angeles. Mike, do you think this is entrapment? Mark? I just wonder, why is it that the police are spending their time in this bathroom with the little boy? And why is it that police feel that it's that that's the only place they can go to have anonymous sex? I mean, you know, we're here in Hollywood. There's plenty of places to go have anonymous sex. Yeah. I agree. Hypocrisy is all. It's all about hypocrisy, no question. Okay. Let's take a break. We'll explain why the ladies are all wearing these outfits. 
<laughs> a crazy night here in New York after this. Well, that's all we have time for this evening. Please join us again tomorrow night for your up-to-the-minute news and weather. From all of us here at Fox Nightly News, be safe and good night.